five ways artificial intelligence can change the world by 2050. Hi guys, my name is Laszlo Bliss and this is my YouTube channel Bliss Thoughts concerning the potential and the impact. Technology is a powerful instrument but this doesn't always necessarily translate over. We struggle to manage this super powerful tool. If you're interested in technology and understanding both sides of the coin, the good and the bad, then make sure you hit the subscribe button for more future content. Anyway, enough of that, let's get into the video. Our movement towards an AI focused world is happening as we speak. So bearing this in mind, what is the world going to look like by the year 2050? Number one, by 2050, we can have a lot more time for ourselves. AI developments by 2050 could mean we do not need to have workers or employees to run our organisation. Now this might be perceived as a negative and I hear the debate about the high employment rate and what we're going to do with ourselves, but if this is planned effectively and properly, then we can have more time to do what we need to do. We are seeing things like this already through social media channels as we can automate and schedule things and there's no need for us to physically be there. With artificial intelligence, this could just be on a much deeper level. Hans Moravec, who is best known for his work on artificial intelligence and robotics and is currently a faculty member at Carnegie Mellon University, is also a big believer in this becoming a reality by 2050. He believes these robots can allow humans to occupy their days with a variety of social, recreational and artistic pursuits, not unlike today's comfortable retirees or the wealthy leisure classes. And why not? By 2050, artificial intelligence will be exceptional and be able to complete tasks with extreme precision, devoid of human error. Number two, artificial intelligence can be our companion and our friends. AI researcher David Levy has already predicted by 2050 we should have artificial intelligent bots that are able to have intelligent conversations, strike up an emotional relationship with humans. If we're taking current products such as the Alexa and we look at our continual input online in terms of what we like and don't like and our search histories, this data online is the fuel for artificial intelligence and allows it to know us more than we know ourselves. What's stopping us from converting Alexa and upgrading it into an actual hologram? A person. Literally, we can make them whatever we want and they could be our friend. We're already seeing this through Microsoft's Cortana and Shao Ice, which is another Microsoft tool and it's a communication chatbot. This is designed to hook users through real life empathetic conversations and satisfy emotional needs. It's going to be the shoulder to cry on, the person to crack a joke with. Remix. Ain't nothing changed. No, I'm back with the remix with the queens Turn of the game. Up. When you see me in the spot, just better respect it. Y'all already know when my rep ain't no reason to check it. And you're not kidding. This is real. And look at this news article here. It is already satisfying this need in China, appealing to the vulnerable and the lonely. So we're already seeing this transition happen. By 2050, artificial intelligence should be able to mimic emotions. Japanese entertainment company Takara Tommy has created an AI device that synthesizes your voice, then matches the inflection and intonation to provide proper emotion. Basically, it can copy your voice. In the article, it gives you an example of a father not being able to read a book, and the artificial intelligence device can just pick up your tone of voice and read the book to your kid, and they fall asleep next to a computer-generated object. That's very weird. Number three, healthcare. Artificial intelligence is already showing crazy improvements within healthcare and how it's able to assist doctors and the pharmaceutical industry. By 2050, the healthcare industry could be completely revamped. Ronald Van Loon, who is a public speaker and influencer in regards to artificial intelligence, big data and internet of things, quoted this. So in China, AI defeated a team of elite doctors in both speed and accuracy in a two round brain tumor diagnosis. 2050, Scientists believe with the help of artificial intelligence, we can make cancer no more untreatable. And this was declared in 2015 by UCL. So we've definitely made some traction since then. This vast improvement is not slowing down. Scientists believe in the next 20 years or so, with the help of artificial intelligence, we will be able to devise a vaccine to get rid of global killers like HIV. Here's another one. By 2050, we hope to completely eradicate malaria. We continue 
this input of data and artificial intelligence has more of a pool to dip into and collect this, then it's able to offer patients more tailored support in regards to what they need. Number four, transportation in 2050. The evolution of artificial intelligence are skies, roads, seas and railroads could be populated by autonomous vehicles. You need to sit behind the wheel. They see me rolling, they hate it. Driverless vehicles can really help in regards to moving cargo and people if needed. It would also be a lot safer too with the help of ethical intelligence, which is an artificial intelligence which is able to detect humans' emotions and seeing what they're going to do if they're about to cross the road. To reach this cartopian future, there are obviously some hurdles that need to be overcome. An article published by Jenny Martin, who is the Secretary General of Intelligent Transport Systems. Martin mentions firstly the financial impact of this, the numerous safety issues and fraud preventions, but if achieved and overcome, we can realise a future like this. There are also even more futuristic options, such as the Hyperloop, which can go as fast as a plane, 760 miles an hour. Not sure how our bodies are going to cope with this, but Elon Musk is a big advocate for this. Richard Branson's Virgin Hyperloop is already making traction. By 2050, you could go from east to the west of US in five hours, or travel from Manchester to London, which is around 163 miles, in 23 minutes. Beep, beep. Number five, the entertainment industry could be taken over by humanoid robots. Yep. In Toby Walsh's book, Artificial Intelligence, From Logic Piano to Kill a Robot, he predicts a future where artificial intelligence humanoid robots will take over our TV screens. Let's get ready to not rumble. It gets a bit weirder. By 2050, we might not even need cameramen or a movie set. Sick cameras will make the movies, while avatars and chatbots will play the role as a presenter. It's not crazy thinking. We're already doing some weird things like resurrecting dead actors. James Dean has been resurrected with artificial intelligence and CGI to play the role in the Vietnam War film Finding Jack. It's so much more cost effective than having to hire an expensive actor with an ego. I am God. Artificial intelligence is also already proofreading and giving directors reactions on how people will react to their scripts. With this in mind, going to the theatres or watching a TV show can be a much more deeper experience tailored to what you want to see there and then and more relatable to you than ever before. Looking at artificial intelligence trajectory, it looks like it's going to be more important than the invention of electricity. Society, the way we interact, watch movies, entertainment, the healthcare, the way we travel, it's going to be drastically new. And although it's all hypothetical, we can see these transitions already happening. Artificial intelligence will improve our lives. We just have to once more strike a balance because it is an intelligent machine and intelligent machines can think for themselves. It's not like a wheel which was invented. A wheel can't redesign itself, right? It will stay a will. <sighs> Thank you guys for tuning in. If you like what you heard, I would really appreciate a little thumbs up, um, a little like, subscribe to the channel. What do you guys think about artificial intelligence? What do you think is going to be the biggest change it's going to provide to our world in the next 30 years or so? Either way, artificial intelligence is here to stay, so we need to embrace it.